boarded the plane, we're finally on our way to Philadelphia via New York. So we're going to see our new US distributor 1014 who came on board a couple of months ago for Eventuri and IND are also going to be there. So we're actually going to be doing some dealer training and meet the guys for the first time and then fill in any gaps they have about our brand and the products. So I'm really excited to see them for the first time and a few of them will be the big BMW guys. Stop, so it'll be cool to see everyone and put a face to the name. So I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> Just arrived at 10.14. I'm gonna go in and check IND's car out because it is in the lobby. <laughs> there it is. Repainted in Oxford Green, washed down the grills. It's got the inventory intake, obviously. BBS LMs, that looks stunning. Brown interior. How good does that look? And you've got our intake sitting over here. This is really cool. So they've cut out half of the plenum, so you can see it. Looks like artwork. That is so cool to see our products in the largest distributor of its kind in America. There's Mr. Bilal. So we've just got two 1014s warehouse, which is in a separate location to their office we were just in. It's meant to be fairly large, so let's go check it out. second day at 1014. Yesterday, as you saw, we were in the warehouse. It was super impressive, very automated and absolutely huge. I was expecting it to be big, but it was much bigger than I imagined it to be. And you can see why they are such an efficient company in terms of the logistics. Today, I am actually in their office. This is the atrium and you can see IND's beautiful M4 in the back and some of our intakes on display. So we delivered dealer training yesterday, which went really well, introduced the brand to the salespeople, answered any questions they had. So today I'm gonna to actually take you on a little tour of their offices. It's one of the coolest places I've been to, so come and check it out. So this is IND's M4. It was originally our pine bike and they sprayed it British Racing Green. It has the new Vorsteiner Grills and Performance front lip, EBS white gold wheels with a matte finish on the lip and performance side skirts. The interior is orange and black. Looks super aggressive. Um, on the rear end you've got and performance wing and performance diffuser and Eisenman carbon fiber tailpipe exhaust but yeah the wing really works on this car they've got some cool paint details so the wing is actually carbon fiber and they've sprayed the outer part in green and just left a little stripe and also the wing mirrors are carbon fiber and again they've left part of it exposed so you can see it 
and it's a really cool fade so you can see it fades into green here and the same with the side gills so carbon fiber with green accents open the hood oh wrong side <laughs> hood on that side yeah, yeah. Show you the even chewy intake. Yeah, it's got the carbon buckets. <clears throat> so, this is actually a prototype of the system because we had to make it in a rush for SEMA. But, yeah, look at that. Looks great in the engine bay. Can't see the turbo inlets because they were further down there. And they've also got the four line strut brace in gloss black and they've body colored the engine cover. But yeah, I think it looks super aggressive, very cool. They had these displays made up of our intakes and we ran through with all the sales staff the new products we have going on answered any technical questions they had but i'm just going to show you around the office so there's a little shop here you can pick up sandwiches drinks whatever you want scan it in there and pay for it over here they're just having a custom staircase made up which is really cool that's the training area over there cafeteria there that's going to be a terrace which looks onto a golf course they are building a barbecue over there for summer months so all these doors will slide open uh, got some coffee over there you've got beer on tap if you're that way inclined I'm just going to wander around into this section look another kitchen lots of fridges for employees to put their food they've got these waiting rooms dotted around all over the place. This is pretty cool. So that's a turn 14 wall. So that's done like the MTV sign. So lots of office space for expansion. And if you want a nice break, you can come and play on this game, which we were playing yesterday. They've got some arcade machines upstairs as well. I'll show you those in a second. And yeah, more office space here. Lots of cool artwork around as well. Very conducive to being productive. So this stairwell has a very cool piece of artwork here. You can see the 1014 lit up and then it's got some of the brands they've been dealing with painted onto the wall. I'll just show you it from the top. Yeah, there's bits of artwork like this all over the place. Really makes a huge difference to the feel of it. So this is one of the four wellness rooms, I think. So you go into here, it's playing some wave sounds. And the more interesting thing, and I did use this massage chair yesterday, is this really funky massage chair. I've never been in anything like it, like 20 minutes really getting into those hard to reach places so some cool lego porsche gt3 rs there some space for some more yeah just more examples of the artwork you got a mural there that's how i kind of know like this is old so this is where we know like this is where their uh came in like this is more yeah, you can just see there's just really cool artwork absolutely everywhere. It's the R34 GTR on the wall there. Like spaces to sit and chill out. Just dotted around. It's another kitchen area upstairs, microwave. So yeah, that's cool. So if you want to work in a different place, you can just come over here and chill out. So this is the atrium from the top. You can see a car down there. See some of the trophies they've won, more chill out areas and a really cool mural on this wall too. And over there you can see some of those garage belt skateboards and all. Sticker column, we need to get an inventory sticker 
put on here. So these are all the brands that they distribute. I don't have any on me, so I can't help that right now, but I will send some over, some more skateboards. And they've got Street Fighter and NBA Jam over here. So cool little arcade game space. And this is the IT development area, so this is where all the developers sit. I thought I was finished with the artwork, but here's some more. It's like a GTS. So a very eclectic range of artwork. The Ford GT, some more over here. So it's another meeting room. Daryl and Matt over there. Hey. Hey, how How's are you? Going? Good, how are you? Good. So that concludes our trip to Philadelphia and turn 14. It's been a really eye-opening trip to see the level and scale of their operation and how everything works on the back end. It's given us a lot of ideas in terms of what cars we should be making for, uh, for the American market. We've always wanted to do US domestic cars, but never got round to it. But speaking to those guys, we really need to get on that. So maybe the Corvette C8 will be our first foray into the US domestic market. But that's it for this part of the vlog. I am now off to New York City to catch up with a few inventory dealers and a few friends because I've never been on the East Coast. So I might get to film something there. I'm not sure yet. I think I want to pop into BMW NYC. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Obviously, I'm filming it myself. I don't have Matt with me. Um, so it's more of a vlog style video. Let us know if you like it and if you want us to do a bit more because it will we can create a bit more content when it's um, more casual like this. But yeah, drop a comment below and let us know if you like it or whether we should set up a separate channel for this kind of content. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. If you want to join the conversation, please drop us a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you. And if you're running out of things to watch, why don't you watch one of these two?